Hello Yellow Jacket fans, this is Longest Day, we're looking at the Tax Slayer Bowl. I skipped the first two series, um, they didn't go very far. You can go back and look at them and see why they stopped. But we're going to go ahead and start here, um, near the end of the third quarter, pick up this series. There's a lot of fun things to look at. We'll go ahead and start this play off. Alright, uh, you can see right here, it's just a straight up dive. A couple things you can look at to know it's just a straight up dive is where Thomas is looking. You can see right here. He's uh, not looking down the line. There was a couple of times we had dives where he was really looking down the line. They kind of um, made it difficult to, to really see what was going on. But here you can tell this is definitely just a straight-up dive. You can look right here. You can look what the um, A-back is doing uh, with his hands up in the air, trying to make it look like a rocket toss, get people to come out to the outside. All right, Freddie is going to chip this guy. You're also going to have uh, Parker chip this guy. Uh, you're going to have our tackle take on uh, this defensive lineman right here. You're going to have this A back chip this guy and kind of go for a, a guy in the backfield. You can see that's what happens. Everybody wins. We're winning the line of scrimmage. Um, so that, that's good. Uh, we get through here. Initial contact, two yards down. Diedrich does a great job of making yards after contact. is great. You look right here. We're, uh, we're going to miss this gentleman right here. He's going to the NASCAR, and you can see he, he keeps pushing his guy back. So that allows us to make the extra two, two and a half yards. All right. Forward progress was stopped. So really the offensive line <laughs> is doing a great job. Really excited. Hopefully next year they can continue the, uh, the greatness here. All right, you can see how we're lined up. Later on, you're going to see a penalty from a, from a guy who's not quite, quite lined up right. I'm not sure who it was supposed to be, but I'm assuming it's this guy um, or this position. I don't know if it's the same player. We'll go ahead and watch this uh, play out right here. This little counter speed option. All right. So let's see what's going to, go, what's going to happen here. Counter speed option. So basically, instead of speed option going this way, it turns and goes back the other way. You're going to have a pulling pulling guard. You can see everybody's getting good leverage. You got Parker. Uh, I'm sorry. You got the tackle here. Going to um, take his guy out. Parker's going to pull. And traditionally, um, this would be, I would assume, <laughs> your outside linebacker is going to be your um, your pitch man. In this case, I assume this is going to be your block man, and this is supposed to be your pitch man. But he gets so fooled by the uh, the counter right here, he's not far enough out to actually be the pitch man. It's really interesting how this play develops because he really does get sucked in by the counter. Uh, you know, a step forward slows him down, so he's not really to the outside. So Parker's going to end up hitting this guy, which pushes him to the outside, and that's going to force him to go ahead and pitch because I think I think we're kind of reading this guy right here. He's on the inside. So pushes him to the outside. Uh, we don't we don't get around him. We don't, you know, a lot of times I've seen Will sometimes actually get kind of like an elbow or if you can get your head on the inside, you can really curb this guy's direction. In this case he ends up you know, getting a hold of Diedrich, Diedrich does a good job of making some yards after contract and, you know, just kind of pulls away from the arm tackle right there and ends up making about four yards. Third and two. All right. I think I'll let us see what it looks like. You can see uh, we're set up here, very similar to the last one, that the last play, very same setup. And they are really on the line right here trying to stop a um, possible dive play right here. But it's going to be a dive anyways. See right here, here's the dive. We'll go back and look. You can see uh, center right here is really going to try to get out. They're really not stuffing him right there. So I'm not sure. He's kind of squeezing through. And what really wants to get is to this guy back here. So there you got that. You got Parker taking his guy. You got... Braun over here, going to cut his guy down. Gosh, cuts him down pretty hard. Um, so everybody's pushing to the inside. 
Got a great block right here. Great block right here. And this guy actually, Freddy's not quite able to get to him. And he actually stones him actually short. But Diedrich does something. He kind of cuts to the side and does a twist and is able to make a couple extra yards right there. If you remember um, in the first part of the game, I, I told you that, or the first series that I, that I came out with, this guy actually hits Diedrich and, and actually stones him pretty good. Now, the second part of that hit also was a, a you know, had a, one of these big guys right here actually got an arm on him too on the inside, probably helped with stoning him. Um, this case, this guy doesn't quite stone him right here, uh, isn't able to stop him dead in his tracks. Diedrich does a great job of spinning right there and makes the first down. You can see how wide the, the gaps are right here. And this is a really great view. I wish I had this view for the whole game. We'll kind of look at it right here. You can see Freddy trying to get out right there. You know, there is no space in between these two guys, and he's just trying to find that space. This guy jumps to the inside. You can see right here Parker doing his thing. They got a tackle doing this thing. Everybody's got the right guy. This guy is really unblocked. And so he hits hits him pretty good. You can see how wide that hole is. It's hit, you know, Diedrich races for impact. Does a nice twist right there. Kind of gives ground a little bit. But it's not a good driving. This guy doesn't drive through his tackle. Um, that allows us to make that first down. You know, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be a lot lower. But he, he is coming through pretty much straight up here. He kind of puts his head down for the hit. A lot of times when I see Lackey, Lasky <laughs> going through um, on a dive, I mean, he's really leaning forward and, and is low. Um, Diedrich already has a low center, center of gra gravity given this uh, height. All right, so first and 10, see the setup. You got our A back stepped up, you got a wide receiver. So that's that same setup that we've seen the last couple of plays. Go ahead and let you see the play through. A little counter dive. All right, so it looks like it's going to be a counter option. So since it's going to be, a, looks like a counter option, let's look what these guys are doing. This guy is coming down hard. This guy right here hesitates. Looks like he's going to the outside. You see this? He's thinking, he's watching this pool right here. He's thinking to the outside. So he's actually running to the outside. He's, you know, if you look, the ball is right here. He's looking here. That is perfect. It's exactly what you want him to do. This guy sees the handoff and turns back in. He's just not quite cer certain. He's waiting. He's at, he has an outside responsibility. And you can see he comes back in. You can see right here, I think this is what Marshall. Right here, he's going after this guy. If it's going to, you know, trying to stop him. This guy doesn't need to be stopped because he's going the wrong direction. So we slip through right here since this guy's going to the outside. This guy hesitated. There's a nice little hole right here. We slip through. And it's this backside guy, number number 41, that ends up getting to him. But not until we make a good 11 yards right there. Excellent play. Freddie does get hurt. Um, uh, Freddie, um, it was really awesome for us to cheer for you coming off the field. I really... Um, Hope that you heal up fast and get get ready for the uh, the NFL. But you can see right here what happens is this guy right here ends up hitting his leg right there. This it takes him out right there on his leg and takes him down. All right, next play. First and ten. Uh, we're continuing to do the same lineup, uh, but if you uh, remember, I, I, I think he must have the wrong play, or somebody has the wrong play, because this guy has been stepped up here the whole time. But if he stepped up here, he can't do motion. So someone told him to motion or something. Maybe he didn't hear the play right. But, you know, it would have been just fine if he was stepped up on line. So let's assume he's supposed to step, be stepped up on line, and there's not supposed to be motion, because you really wouldn't want to drag people this way. Um... Let's see what happens. All right, so this is going to be just a straight up dive. You got Burden taking his guy right there. You got this guy right here. You got your 
I guess this is Marshall going after this um, linebacker right there. And then you got Will's going to come back and take this linebacker. So everybody's got a hat on somebody. So that's excellent. You got this A back going to take this guy, take him out. And if you look, we have um, was it Marcus Allen in the game right here. So Marcus Allen right there. You know, nice good hit. Some great yards after the hit. And ends up making almost uh, six yards right there. Excellent run. It'll come back because of the number of people in the backfield. Um, I forgot to mention the last two plays. Um, uh, Marcus Allen ran three plays in a row back there. I should have mentioned that. Um, you know, I know a lot of times he was playing hurt, but actually he was a uh, he. Actually, when he was in the game, he did very fairly well. Um, he's going to enjoy that DT degree, and he's going to do something great with his life. I'm sure of it. All right. So again, same lineup that we've been doing all game. And now he's back where uh, he needs to be. We'll go ahead and watch this play out. Um, little toss there to the B back. So let's see what's going on. Let's see here. Will does a great job. See right there, he's got his head, trying to get his head on the, uh, you know, in front of the lineman. Does a great job there. Marshall, same thing. Great job. We got. Ike back here, going to do a great job pushing his guy. And what happens is we just r run out of field. Um, you know, we make a good three yards, but we just ran out of field. Was that five yards? Looks like, I wouldn't say it's a uh, first and 15. It looked like he went out somewhere in this area. They're going to say second and 10, so we'll take it. Um, Something, something's a little off of that. All right, we'll go ahead, uh, let them call the timeout, come back, look at this next play. So this play, just a pass play. So these guys are running back, 15's running back. This guy does a great job going from dead stop to turning. And actually, this is a great play by the defensive back. Right there, gets his arm in. Uh, if, this, if this route could have just drifted a little bit more inside, it would have been better. But you see he already has his arm out. And this does a perfect job of defending that ball. Third and ten. Looks like we get another penalty right there. Go ahead and see what this is. And this is a pass play right there. Some time for Thomas to throw right here. This guy's going to turn around. Um, Potentially interception possibility, so you got to be careful there. Uh, I'm going to throw it just a little farther. Now, I don't know if this guy right here, he was thinking that he was going to go deeper. But, you know, he actually stops, turns around, and, you know, if he threw the ball in here, possibly could have been a first down. Thomas throws the ball a little further. So, just a miscommunication between the two guys. Possibly Thomas didn't want to throw it into so many, you know, yet three people in the area. You know, avoid the um, interception. Make your three points. All right, let's keep on going. We'll catch the next series. Try to liven it up a little bit. Um, second five. Don't want to miss that. All right, so. First down. First and ten. Here we go. This is more of our traditional setup. We'll go ahead and let you see this play through. I think this is a triple option. Um, why do I think it's a triple option? One is Thomas is, is looking uh, right here. The A back's going out. So I, you know, I believe this is a triple option. What happens is these are your two read guys. This guy hesitates. You see that? You see that hesitation? So Thomas goes ahead, goes ahead and leaves it in there. And you look. Diedrich gets by him. It's by that guy. Ends up making a good uh, five yards out of it. Great run. Um, blocking wise, let's see here. You know, block down, block out right here. He's supposed to, um, is that James L. Lee? Uh, Lee's in the game right here. He does some interesting things. He, he is, uh, uh, <laughs> you 
<laughs> he likes the contact. So you see that? He pushes through that contact. His job is to get to this guy, and right there, he gets to him. You know, if this was going to go to the outside right here, this actually would have been a pretty good play. Um, so he got to the Mike linebacker. All right, keep on going here. We'll look at this play, let you see it through. Another triple option. Great run by Thomas. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, triple? Yes, triple. Reading these two guys right here. This guy's trying to jam Lee, but I, I don't think Lee <laughs> Janzel likes to be uh, jammed. He does a good, jo good job of just pushing that jam off. I love it. And in fact, I think what he sees here, if you watch, this guy right here, he's trying to get to this guy. This is the guy he wants to block. He hits this guy. This guy's already to the outside. He's not going to be able to get him. This guy's through him. So what does he do? He, he just attacks this guy right here. And when he does that, he actually saves the play. He, he, makes, he makes room for Thomas to come through here. Because you imagine if, if he just runs through and is just standing around back here, right here, this guy is wide open to take Thomas. This guy is wide open to take the pitch. So it could have been a dead play. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. If, I mean, could you mess up a triple option, say, you know, if you, if you end up blocking the, the pitch guy? But he does a great job, blocks him, opens his, lane, opens his lane up right there. Good job right there. Let's see here. Who else do we have? We have um, right here, it looks like Will's getting a blitzing linebacker. Does a good job. Right there, at least stopping that. Thomas's great stop, spin move right there. Breaks through that arm tackle. Picks up a couple more yards. Great run by Thomas. Right here, you can see they're getting a little bit more. This is your first uh, read. He reads that guy. This guy actually is hesitating again, so Thomas could have left it, but you can see he does take the, the B back pretty good right there. You can see right here, this is that Mike linebacker coming to the outside. James Ali is not going to be able to get to him, so he just pushes somebody else. <laughs> Does a great job. All right, we'll let you see this play through before we start. It looks just like a dive. Um, four yards. All right, so we're going to see here, right here, you got um, the center. Was that Cooper? It's going to hit this guy. You got... Um, I don't know, is this Will going to come through? Right there, try to take 31. And then right here, you got your tackle. Right there. So he's going to come on the outside of his hip. 34 is there. But still does a great job of finding some room squeezing through there. And ends up making four yards. All right. Traditional setup. Let you watch the play through. Another dive. He's going to dive again. If you look, we're doing a great job of just winning that line of scrimmage. Just look. What, initial contact. Look at initial. Well, first of all, <laughs> they're way off the line anyways. Look, look at this. Look at all this ground they are giving up right there. So they are, they are giving up a considerable amount of ground on this side um, just in the way they're lining, lining up. So we're going to see right here, Freddy's going to take his guy, check. This guy's going to the outside, so that's check. Looks like he's going to get chipped by the A-back. You're going to have this Mike linebacker going to be taken out by Lee right there. Does a great job. If you look, line of scrimmage is back here. So we're you're giving up two, yard, two free yards, and any kind of momentum forward we're going to pick up. Now you can look, this guy comes back in. And uh, this guy right here comes back in and actually tries to tackle uh, Diedrich right there. So arms around, actually all the way around Diedrich, but he's not driving. He's kind of just falling. and It doesn't work. This guy is just kind of slow getting there. He's, you know, he's got his got own guy in front of him. Kind of slows down right there and just is tripped up. Diedrich does a great job. All this trash and he's just keeping his feet. Keeps his feet. It's the first down right there. You know, 
great place would be right behind this guy. Um, just got from behind, right there. Good, great run by Diedrich right there. Kind of getting through. You can see the tackle right there. Just kind of not a great tackle. This guy kind of tripping on his own guys. Ends up giving Diedrich a good run. All right. Let's keep on going. Um, not as much space given up, but you can tell they're they are a little off the line. This guy is right up on the line. So I'm not sure what they're trying to do by staying so far back. Going to be another dive. Dive, dive. Um, again, we're winning the line of scrimmage. And uh, we do a summer flip to get to five yards. Um, you can see right here, you got Lee, you got the A back. Um, you're going to have Cooper. And you're going to have, what is this, Parker? Going to come through. So great contact by everybody. Everybody hitting the right people. You got Diedrich. You've know, got an arm tackle going on right here. And he's able just to push forward and fall over the pack and make that last yard. Great job by Diedrich. Great job by the offensive line. What do you think they'll play this time? Let's run it out and let you see. I think this is another dive. We're just going to you know, straight up dive again. Another uh, five, six yards. So we'll go through and look. This guy hops onto the outside. That's perfect. So both of these guys are on the outside. So even if this was a triple, this would have been a give. Um, both guys hop to the outside. These guys are free. Your um, A back pushes. Look like there's a bouquet got a little bit more on the inside. So we got this guy right here. Cooper is pushing on him. And we get contact about one, two, three. About three, three and a half yards off the ball, but everything is going forward. Everything falls forward for an extra three yards. So six yards off that play. What do you think we'll run this time? Well, let's see. Is it going to be another dive? Um, looks more like a triple option. I, I, I could be wrong. No, it's a dive. It's just another dive. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it based on what this uh, A-back is doing. He gets in, chips this guy, just like we've been seeing. Cooper's hitting his guy. You got this linebacker stepped in the hole. Will does a great job of taking his guy on. You see that? Will's, Will's got him covered up right there. Got him covered up and turned around. Um, you got our tackle doing a great job. A-back doing a great job. We get through the hole. You can see right here, these guys are just, just too far on the outside. Just too far on the outside. You can see how if you did this in a game where you were making success and all of a sudden you went to the outside, you can do very good. Look right here, he's, he's firing in. You see this motion? You can see him fire in right here. I think that's uh, setting up something big later on in the game. But we get a good run right there, a little arm tackle, and we end up making nine yards. Excellent play. Second one, what do you think we'll run? <laughs> I think we're going to run another dive. And it's another dive. They do a, a little bit better job of trying to snuff this one out. Everybody, you can see right here, he's going for this guy right here. He's on the inside, pushes him almost right into the guy. You got the A back taking this guy. You got, um, is that Parker? Going after Mike, like right there. And they do a great job of closing down the hole, but. We still make our two yards. First down. All right, so they, they kind of stopped us on that one. Let's see what Paul dials up. Let's see if it's any different. And it's going to be, you know what this play is. You know what this play is. Can, let me show you it one more time. Watch these two guys. Watch these two guys. And so this looks like a counter, right? And where's everybody still going? Where is Thomas about to go? I think this is a counter QB by himself. You pull, you pull two people right here, and if you look, everybody is on the inside. This one guy here, <laughs> he's firing in. So depending on if these guys block this one guy, that is a walk-in touchdown. Just look at this. You can tell it's not going to go. He's doing a counter. These guys are pulling. You block this one guy. No one else is even, even looking. This, is, this goes in for a touchdown. Again, Paul seeing this. 
right there. It was a delay of game, though. Stop that. That would have been a touchdown. All right, first and goal, 15 yards to go right there. You're just going to do um, a speed option right here. And I'm not sure what happens to make this not quite work out. We can't quite this get this guy. And I think it just makes makes him nervous right here. Everybody gets in too deep too quick. Instead of coming down the line, they go in. And that makes Thomas want to turn it up. A little fumble, we get the ball. So it ends up being all good. All right, keep just going. Another, this is a counter option dive. So it looks like just like the counter option. You can see Will's going to pull right here. Will pulls, and he's going to take this, this guy right here. It's interesting, you know, uh, last time I saw someone pull on his counter, they took the outside guy, but I do believe they're supposed to take the, the lineman on the end. He takes the lineman on the end right here. This guy is going to the outside, and so Diedrich turns it up, runs a guy over, ends up making uh, 10 yards off of that. Five yards to go. So we've been running uh, dives, dives, some counter dives, and this is very interesting right here. You can see this guy times the snap almost perfectly. And, that, and if you look, he's looking in. He's watching the snap. So you see that? Oh, he sees that guy. He has to turn and find that guy. And man, I'm not even sure how he even got a hand on him. But he gets there just as the ball arrives and trips him up. Excellent play by the defenders. Uh, Paul was saying, you know, what I should have did is I should have just did that counter. The counter for a walk-in. So if you look right here, he's thinking right through here. You know, would have been a walk-in. All right. One more series to go. Go through this. Watch this touchdown series. All right. First and ten. Got the ball. Is this is this right? Did we miss anything? I just want to make sure we don't miss anything. Yeah. This is our ball right here. All right. Normal setup. What's it going to be? Dive. <laughs> so who's winning their blocks? Blocks. Looks good. Looks good. Lee right there. Um, this is going to be is this Parker. You believe right there. Yep. Gets through. Doesn't have to really hit anybody. Um, Cooper doing a good job on his guy. Uh, this is actually Cooper's guy ends up making the ta uh, tackle. So, you know, actually falls down for four yards, so we'll take that. Cooper's been in the game since uh, Freddie was injured. We'll watch this again, see what happens. Give you a little view of what it is. Another dive. And not many yards. So they are really starting to crash in on the dive. You can see how everybody's concentrating on the center, closing down all those lanes. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens here. Uh, Lee kind of misses the block he was going for right there. Um, but they both end up trying to get to 51. Uh, who actually makes the tackle is this guy. Aback isn't quite able to make that block. He does a good job of hitting them right there. Um, and it's just a big pile of people to run over. I think that. And everybody else is closing down on them. So middle of the yards there. Third down. Third and four. Wow. Third and four, and remember all that firing of the um, of this guy's right here. So let's see what happens here. This guy is firing. You can see he's already moving. Firing in right here. This is a dial-up by Paul. You can see everybody's going to try to stop that run. Everybody's going in. Everybody's committed. And if you look, he's open. Guy on him. This guy or you know someone to roll over to help isn't going to even near him. This guy is coming over. He's coming from all the way across the field, though. Can't get there in time. Saves a touchdown, but that's all right. We got Diedrich. Here we go. Traditional setup. We'll let you see what it is. 
just another dive. Go back to the dive. You can see they're closing down on it pretty good. So it's a straight up dive. We'll look at some of the blocking right here. Um, Abax got this guy. Check. I do believe um, the guard is supposed to take this guy. Check. Tackle comes through. Supposed to take the mic. Check. So everybody's got their guy. Everybody knows what they're doing. Hand it off. We'll see who actually makes the tackle. I think it's just, just everybody's pinching in, and it closes up a lot of the lanes. But we have a lot of good forward momentum. You know, a lot of contact. Legs still moving. Ends up making four yards. Excellent. All right, so here we go again. Um, anything different? Yeah, it looks like we have one, two, three people on this side. We got June up here on the um, end here. So got a, a different kind of front we're looking at right there. A little, little counter move right there. Give it to the um, B back. You're going to have Parker pull out, nail his guy right there. Does a good job. You have um, the tackle coming out, takes care of his guy. And right here, you have Diedrich with the ball. He's going to turn it up and makes uh, a few yards there, third and goal. All right, so this is kind of like a rocket toss, counter, dive. So it looks kind of like you're going to toss it out. It ends up giving it the B back right here. And we do a great job of blocking. So what's going to happen here? Everybody's pushing down, pushing in, trying to stop the dive. You see how they're pinching in hard? They pinch in hard to stop the dive. But this dive kind of goes on the outside right here. Wheel pulling out. Everybody does a good job. You get Ike right there pushing. Slows this guy down. Touchdown. Excellent. Well, that's all I got for this Tax Slayer Bowl. Um, congratulations to Bucker for his uh, all-time po scoring points. Um, excellent job by him. Uh, what do we got for next season? Wow, man, we have some great players uh, returning. And mainly, you know, it's an offensive line. We have some excellent guys. We have some a little bit of depth of uh, offensive line. Uh, we have some guys that we haven't seen a whole lot. Um, was it uh, the Morgan twins um, are doing pretty good. And so maybe we have a chance to see some of those guys next year. Uh, Divine did play in this game. He, uh, he played on special teams. And he also played on the passing plays right there before the second half. So he'll be back. We have Parker and Will coming back. We have Marshall. James L. Lee is coming back. Uh, look, look for great things from him. Clock, Clock played in this game, so he, he'll be he'll be back. Cooper uh, quit, uh, showed that he has uh, what it what it takes uh, during this game. Did a great job. So really, on the, we have some great linemen. Brad Stewart, Richard June coming back. Excellent. Mike Land Davis also comes in. I think he's excellent. Uh, some talk about him moving to a back. Our a backs. Uh, so we lose uh, Lynn Griffin. Uh, we lose Ike. Ike is an excellent blocker. We're going to really miss Ike. Um, but uh, we got Nate Cottrell coming in, and I think he's going to be a beast of a blocker. Uh, and also, he's a, he's a hard runner. You know, I liked it. I like like him on the A back counters. Uh, look, uh, you know, he's such a tough runner. Did a really great job in this game too. Uh, you know, fielding our uh, kickoffs. Uh, did a wonderful job. Um, you know, of course, you got J.J. Green coming back. You got Quay Cersei, where there's a will, there's a Quay. Um, exciting right there. I'm sure I've left somebody out. Um, oh, I can't forget this guy. Lynch. Lynch is coming back. Um, <laughs> when you really need something, when you really need a bad, uh, Lynch will clinch it for you. Uh, it's a cinch with Lynch. Uh, I'm glad he is on our team. He's an amazing player. Uh, Matthew Jordan. Uh, comes back. We have uh, seen him in the Virginia Tech game. Incredible. He's a really hard runner. Uh, I look forward to the return of you know the midlines, the QB follows. Uh, you know, making people pay on the inside. If they start covering the outside, you know, you can really truly make them pay. Between Diedrich, you know, who, who will be back, and uh, MJ, um, 
you know, they can really make people pay on the inside. MJ looks uh, in the BT game, didn't didn't seem to have uh, his throwing down completely. He could have been amped up for the first game, uh, his first start. Uh, it it could have been, but, you know, I've seen earlier in the season where he threw, man, a rope uh, to, was it Lynch for a touchdown? It was a great pass. So, you know, as he gets ready for, for his, what, junior year, uh, who knows, improve that passing and, and if you have that combo, that hard nose runner and that passing, you can really see some fun drives uh, out of tech. Uh, great, you know, what do you got? Taekwon Marshall back there, a little bit more, uh, maybe not, not as tough as MJ, but maybe a little quicker, a little faster, possibly. Um, and you got, what, Lucas? Um, gosh, where were JJ, the other JJ? Um, also, uh, have a lot of hype coming about those guys as well. It's going to be hard to see uh, uh, Matthew Jordan, though. I, I could see that. You know, a lot, you know, a lot of a lot of people are saying, "Well, the passing has ma made its issue." And it, it truly has. Um, if we if we have a hard runner, though, some of those passings won't won't be necessarily required. You can deal with more people in a box because you have to cover the outside and the inside, unless you have two humongous tree people of um, defensive tackles, then the, the passing is definitely going to be uh, something we're going to need yeah, when you play Clemson. Um, I don't think I forgot too many people. Um, I hope I sure haven't. We had an excellent offense this, this season. I look forward to our defense. Uh, look forward to what they bring. I think uh, I really hope that over the summer roof doesn't make it too complicated, that we can keep it simple. Um, you know, complex enough to, to have a good defense, but simple enough that as our guys study and do their schoolwork, they're able to consume it and actually apply it on the field. Um, really looking forward to that. Uh, really hope that we do a little bit more aggressive, you know, mix in some more aggressive uh, play calls. Uh, I know we play it safe, I play more of a prevent defense at times, but uh, if we can mix it up and, you, you know, you get it at the right time, you can really take them off the field. Of course, if you don't get it at the right time, they can make a touchdown. And so I understand why why you do more of a conservative um, defense from time to time. We have the ba defensive backfield coming back for us. Uh, we're losing P.J. Davis, uh, awesome linebacker. Uh, hopefully we'll have another linebacker step up, fill that void. Um, Corey Griffin did a great job. I, no, I really liked him. If I remember right, uh, was it 2014? He got called for targeting, and I just I just really like Corey, and I, I never thought Corey uh, uh, really got enough spotlight. Um, you know, he was actually overshadowed by some really good guys, and I think that that was the key. But you know, he's a junior. He showed that he's better. I think he's going to be better as a senior, and he's going to be a great part of our game. Please, Roof. You know, get AJ in the game when you're 20 yards back. When you're, one of your best guys are 20 yards back, he's not going to be utilized because they're not going to throw the ball deep a whole lot because you've got it covered. It's going to be shallow. That's where it is where you got to show that guy's 20 yards back, but yet every now and then you bring him up close and you, you let him get in the game. Um, Austin Twins have done terrific this year. Uh, really pleased with what they've done. Uh, we, you know, a lot of our defensive ends... Uh, Simmons and and Freeman are doing did you know did did better towards the uh, last half of the season. Glad glad to get them in there. I, you know Rook did great job. Uh, you know, who's going to replace Rook uh, will be very interesting. And uh, uh, Pat Gamble, oh, man, what a beast! What a what a beast of a player. Um, hopefully our our defensive lineman um, can step up and, and fill that gap that uh, we're going to lose with Pat. Uh, did I miss anybody? Did I talk through all the positions? Uh, fa fairly well. Anyways, uh, that's all I have. Uh, if you're still listening, wow. Uh, this rambled here at the end, went through all the players. Um, you know, the only one I probably didn't talk to at depth would be be back with uh, uh, Quaid War Warmerskirch. Uh, would be what your your next be back. We've got Cavante Benson coming behind him. Uh, may have a new player in there, someone who may step up as well. Uh, I really hope that Diedrich uh, 
has got it together and just will hang on with both hands and do the right things, do whatever it takes to, to stay eligible, to, uh, well, not to get another strike. Apparently, you know, he made all Bs. So, Diedrich, I'm rooting for you. I'm pulling for you. I uh, really need you to stay in school uh, because that degree is going to be great. Um, a degree from tech, nowhere else. Uh, that tech degree has done terrific, wonderful things for, for, for my career, and uh, I know it'll, it'll help set you up as well. All right, that's all I have, and I look forward to uh, doing this again in 2017.